Hello everybody and welcome to this very brief video on the case of Betty L which I discussed during my lecture for unit 6.2 of patient care 1. I didn't want to leave you hanging in the air and originally this was intended to be covered during the active learning session. However, uh, this is not going to be a, a synchronous active learning session. So instead, I wanted to provide this very brief video to close the case and uh, solve the mystery of which uh, supplement would be best suited for Betty L. Uh, so let me go briefly over uh, her case uh, and refresh your memory so that you are best prepared uh, to address a similar situation on the final exam um, and obviously in your practice uh, later on. So uh, as a refresher, Betty L is a frequent customer in your pharmacy, a patient and uh, on this day she comes in and complains of pain in her knees and joints and she wants something, she's seeking something uh, to oil them up a bit. Uh, she has been taking naproxen for a long time uh, but the pain has come back and she doesn't want to increase her dose. Um, her other medications uh, only include enalapril and hydrochlorothiazide uh, and then I kind of left it up to you kind of to uh, come up with a conclusion on which supplement that we discussed uh, in lecture would be best suited for her. And uh, really, when we look at her medication of, and what we discussed uh, in the lecture, the only ones that come to mind are glucosamine, uh, chondroitin, and devil's claw. Now, um, I underlined uh, glucosamine sulfate here uh, because of uh, what we discussed in lecture, uh, the sulfate um, salt of glucosamine has uh, specifically better uh, absorption pharmacokinetics, is better suited uh, for uh, its um, properties. For some reason, the hydrochloride salt and other salts are not as well absorbed. Uh, so uh, that's why you always want to use uh, look for that particular salt form of glucosamine. Um, chondroitin uh, is usually also used as a sulfate salt, uh, although th there the evidence is not as clear as uh, to which um, salt form is best suited uh, or if there is any difference between the different salt forms. Uh, but since glucosamine and chondroitin are usually or often used together, in combination uh, products, uh, it, uh, it makes sense to also use the same salt form for both of them. When it comes to Devil's Claw, um, harparcosite is the active or proposed active ingredient uh, in iridoid uh, glycoside. And uh, so basically it boils down to these three different uh, supplements. Uh, and uh, Betty L already takes uh, an NSAID, an approxim, uh, and none of them uh, really interfere with her uh, prescription drugs, enalapril or hydrochlorothiazide, uh, in a significant manner. Uh, so uh, there's no contraindication for any of them, uh, but Devil's Claw in combination with naproxen is probably not a good idea uh, because both of them uh, work through the same mechanism of action. Both of them are cyclooxygenase or COX inhibitors. And therefore, uh, in this case, it would probably be uh, good to recommend glucosamine and chondroitin uh, sulfate uh, to Betty L uh, to oil up her uh, knees and joints and to reduce the pain. Um, if that is not successful uh, in this combination, uh, then it might be best to refer her uh, to, a, uh, to her practitioner uh, for a follow-up. Um, there might be some underlying disorder going on that uh, she's not aware of. Um, uh, other options that we discussed in, uh, in, in the lecture are SIM options such as uh, yoga or movement therapies um, that increase the range of motion, uh, that keep the muscles and the joints uh, moving and active. Uh, so that is an option that can be suggested. 
uh, although she already does some of that uh, by going golfing and remaining active. Uh, so the best suggestion here in this case would be a combination of these two, glucosamine and chondroitin, uh, in the sulfate form as sulfate salts to suggest to her. Um, glucosamine is usually given in the amount of up to 1.5 grams per day and chondroitin sulfate in a range of 800 to 1,200 milligrams per day. Uh, so there are combination products out there that are of high quality uh, that can be suggested to Betty L. Um, like I said, Devil's Claw should not be suggested in this case because she already takes naproxen uh, as an NSAID. And that's basically it. I hope that this uh, makes sense and I hope that many of you already reached that conclusion for Betty L. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to uh, post uh, them on the discussion board uh, for Unit 6. And uh, I wish you the best uh, for the final exam. Best success, basically. Uh, not only luck, but also success. Uh, you have the knowledge. Uh, and I look forward uh, to seeing you in future patient care courses. Take care, everybody. Bye.